which gets used to do it to, to a positive degree. No, it does, and Jim. And I mean, I wear it for the reason that I believe it is effective. It is. It's not 100% effective. I mean, it's sort of respect for another person and have that other person respect you. You wear a mask. They wear a mask. You protect each other. I mean, I do it when I'm in the public for, for the reasons that, A, I want to protect myself and protect others, and also because I want to make it be a symbol for people to see that that's the kind of thing you should be doing. And when I walk around the street in the neighborhood where I live in Washington, D.C., which still has a considerable number of infections, it's very clear that many people are doing that. Are you telling me I'm lying? Yes, come wash your hands, please. Wash your hands. What? They haven't fixed this yet? Who? The plumber. He said he'd be here before noon to fix it. I had a contract with him. If he hasn't been here, I need to call him right now. To no, 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 no. Don't call him. Can't you fix it? Me fix it? What do you mean? I call the plumbing. I, I'm busy. I paid a deposit for the repair. You want me to fix the thing? I heard the bell ring once or twice. I don't want to get it. Really? Oh, 
Jim? Yeah, hi, brother Mark. Yeah, it's me, Mark. Yeah, Pastor Jim. I've been out of the house now for three hours. Sheila's locked me out. I don't know what to do. Can you come? Did you, you said three hours you've been locked out. Yeah. Yeah, it's been three hours. She's locked the door. She's not opening. Yeah, we need help, Pastor. We really need your help. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'll come now. Yeah, please. Thank you. I know what you're hearing out there right now. I know how much anxiety that causes. I know how much anxiety that causes. And I know the things that are on the TV are so crazy, but I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to say that the Lord has plans for you and his plans are for your good. His thoughts towards you are for good and not for evil. His plans are to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. But this channel you've been watching, this news you've been watching, it's all bad news. That's what's causing this deep distress in your heart. And I just want to encourage you that through this whole situation, 
God is sovereign. He knew about it before it happened. And it's, he speaks to us through Psalm 91. And in Psalm 91 it says, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes from the Word. But fear also comes from hearing. And this channel that you've been watching is filled with all the wrong news. And what we need right now more than anything is the good news and the good news of God's Word. Shall we pray? My Father and my God, I thank you for this home. Thank you for Sheila and thank you for Mark. Father, I pray for their peace and for their joy through this situation, through this pandemic that is affecting the course of the world. Father, I pray of Psalm 91 over this house, that though 1,000 should fall by their left and 10,000 by their right, no plague will enter this dwelling, and no evil shall befall this family. The pestilence comes near and will not reach them. And we plead right now, we plead the blood of Jesus over their doorpost, that the spirit of death would pass over this house and pass over this family and that your blessing would be on them from generation to generation and to their children and to their children's children and that you would fulfill the word of your promise. So Father, I thank you right now. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 The Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And He will protect this home and He will protect you. You will protect your family and you will be with you guys.